right here. Uh, you spoke about Heidegger, and how about Sartre? Did you have a relationship with him? What kind of relationship? <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, obviously, uh, you, 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 may, uh, 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 you may imagine that I've read him uh, already when I was very young. Okay? And he was, when I was a student, uh, one of the major philosophers when I was a uh, young student. I never met him, if, if this is the, if this is what you mean by your question. Uh, I read him intensely when I was young. Then I uh, departed from him. I, I, I realized he, he was not a strong philosopher. Uh, then I came back, and I, I'm now more, more interested in him than I was, let's say, 10 or 20 years ago. It's complicated. But it's, it's still a question for me how this man who is not a very powerful philosopher, not a very good writer either, who made so many mistakes in, in politics and so on and so forth, who made mistakes all the time, nevertheless is an admirable, is an admired figure in France, is a most popular figure in, in France, very popular in Berlin. You know, the, when he was buried, by the way, there are millions of people in the street, okay? Which is uh, uh, an achievement for a film. <laughs> <laughs> so that was, that's my question. I, I have a lot of, of, of sympathy and respect for his sense of justice, for his, uh, um, even if he, he was, if was wrong and he missed many points in politics, his, the inspiration of his, of his moves were generous and, and I, I, I love that, okay? But uh, no, no real, uh, uh, I think I don't know, I don't owe him anything in philosophy, if, if, if this is what you mean. But I admire the generosity of, ethical and political generosity of the man.